Welcome to the House on the Hill Farm. It's a beautiful Saturday. We're gonna be working on the garden today with all the kids. I thought we'd be having a cow episode by now, but there's no cow yet, is there, Kennedy? You don't want to be on YouTube? I do. Say something. I'm learning how to do a bike. You are. Good job. Gergen, what are we going to do today? Stuff. Why are we unraveling the cord? Because we're going to saw stuff. We are going to saw stuff. Cord. Yep. We got a whole bunch of lumber in the truck for the garden. Dad, that out of the gate. Okay, we'll go take care of that. One of the challenges of working with kids is making sure they stay where they belong. Back at this side of the gate, buddy. Don't go out there, okay? He's going to be needing a nap in a few minutes here. So we're going to get this all out. We got three beds we're going to try to build and three? actually put together in the garden out there. Three? Today? Three. What? The other thing we're waiting on, and I thought we were going to have a calf by now. Ooh, look at this darkness. Uh, but that did not happen. Holly, or Jersey, she's awesome, but she's been stubbornly waiting to give birth. Yeah, she's, she's out here, so we're going to go check her out. Hello, Holly. Making a little bit of a mess there. Utter's getting uh, closer at this point. Uh, she's definitely been having a lot of mucus and all those fun things, but she's fooled us a couple times already, haven't you? Just a little bit. Uh, one neat thing is Holly's been getting closer here. She's getting a lot more friendly. She'll come and get the pets and say hi to people, where she really wasn't doing that a whole lot before. Where are you, girl? Oh, Miss Holly. All right, we will have a calf episode soon, I'm pretty sure. But until then, we're gonna stick with gardening today. So we're gonna go get to work and I'll tell you a couple things going on along the way and then we'll look at the final results of what we were able to get done. This is Kennedy. She's constantly trying to scare me. She failed. All right, today we're gonna construct some more of these garden beds. So there's a, a finished one we have right here, complete with some unicorn diaries on top of it. And we're gonna go ahead, talk about the ingredients. Not too hard to make one of these beds. Uh, Tara found it online. And uh, we got some wood cutting to do. So we got a bunch of uh, lumber for our friends at Chinook. And the first thing we're gonna do is cut ourselves some 19 inch boards. So we are gonna need 16 of these for one bed. We crank these out pretty fast. Done. All right, next up we got four footers and uh, we need four of those. Actually, we need uh, eight of those per bed, and then we need uh, six eight-footers. So the boards came in eight-foot size. Boink. All right, so we got some decking boards to cut next. For each bed, what we're gonna do is we need eight four-footers and eight eight-footers. And once we put all those together, bam, we got a bed. Ta-da! All right, the final ingredient for this is uh, four by four. We got 23 and a half inches and we need four to round out the corners for these posts. Then we can put some beds together. Voila, we are cut. We were a little bit worried about the split here, but uh, when you take a look at it, barely any deep here, so you should do just fine. 
pack it up and take it home and look at all this loot we put together. Pretty awesome, right Riley? Over here we have Kerrigan in the elusive boots. Making sure cats get proper loves. Are you happy with Boots Kerrigan? Yeah, I like him a lot. You do? It's almost a year since we had him. It is. If you pet him just right, he'll drool. Watch for it. Oh, he's already drooling. <laughs> awesome. These guys are not supposed to be here. Now why are you filming it? Because it's farming adventure. Go on it, go on it, go on it. Go on it, go on it. Girls. Good job. The culprit is down that way. Mr. Sullivan let open the little gate and all the goats got out. Yeah, the two mama goats, Penny and Chapter 2, didn't even realize that the gate was open. First part's the easy part, putting the frame together, and then we put boards over. It's actually not hard at all. Check it out, we put a raised bed together. It's looking pretty good. Boots approves. Yep, you do. All right, so we got a bunch more of the build. We got all our supplies all put together right over here. So that's great. And we're in good shape. Hello kitty. How did he do that? He's a ninja cat. That's what ninja cats do. We did unfortunately lock boots in the shed overnight. Poor guy. We all feel bad. We all feel so bad that there's been talk of making him a house cat up at the main house. He does hang around in the cabin here. He's our awesome cabin cat that we actually got last year for Father's Day. Right Kerrigan? Yeah. What else do you know about boots? Um, He's got... 14 toes on his front feet. 14? Yeah. Yeah, you can almost see them there if he keeps doing that. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Too tall for me. All right, Kerrigan, you want to show us uh, the rest of the garden over here that we're planting? Ooh, yeah. Because he might do a better job than me. We have the, we've got that bed that we just built. Yep. We're going to build two more, right? And then this one, we'll probably do like tomatoes and green beans in here. I think we'll do like a row of tomatoes and a row of tomatillos. Ooh. And then mom, and then on that side, mom will do like weed paper on the ground with um, rows of chips in between so we can do cut flowers. And it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, what's planted already? Already we have spinach on this side 
we have sugar snap peas grown in the middle. We have um, some iceberg lettuce, some Romanian lettuce, and some unknown lettuce that I don't remember what it's called. Okay. What about in the bed on the far side? On the bed on the far side, those are all sweet pea flowers. They're all sweet peas? All right, let's and, go to the cabin for a second. And Dad says that sweet pea flowers smell like litter boxes. <laughs> Thanks. That's what we need. Yep. These are tulips. They are. They're beautiful tulips, aren't they? This one's my favorite one. It is. It's a good color, isn't it? They are really pretty. They are. All right, what are we growing? Um, these things are stock. I don't know what stock means. These are strawberry wine calendelanina. Something like that. What do we got going over here? I don't know what these are. Probably the same, because if you look at them... Um, well, no, because no. these are a little different. Dahlias. Okay, dahlias. these are dahlias. Ooh, dahlias grown from Whoa. seeds, Wait, not tubers. You can grow dahlias from seeds? I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, so these ones are flipped around, but these are all flowers. Um, we have pull. These are zinnias. We've got polar bear, and then these are sunflowers. All right, let's not go through every sunflower because yeah. sunflowers. These ones are unnamed tomatoes. What are these ones? Okay, they're all tomatoes. Yum. We need mozzarella these? and tomatoes. What are in, grown in here, Mom? Back it, buddy. Okay, just see the top ones quick. Um, we have some basil. Um, we have some squash up here. They're really big. Squash. Butternut squash? Spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. What? And those are um, filler flowers from the case. Oh, these are flowers from the case. Okay. What is there? What is growing in here? Zucchini and summer squash. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. So we got all these to plant in our garden. That's why we're yeah. building all the raised beds. We're gonna show where all the dahlias are gonna go over here. Oh, okay. There's the shed that we unfortunately locked boots in. Oh yeah, I think it was like two days. Oh, and these are my favorite tulips. These ones are really pretty tulips. They're like, they're called- These are tulips? Yeah, they're what called kind of they? ruffle pink. They're ruffled, for sure. Yeah, they're like double layered ruffle pink. Those ones haven't popped up yet. I don't know yeah. if they will. That's okay, these ones are good. Let's go over here quick. This big old patch of so many big things. Yeah, look at look at all the leaves everywhere. It was like snowing petals. Yeah, these are the petals from the big trees up here. They're like really pretty trees up there. Yeah, but spring's this, almost over. This is going to be the dahlia garden. Where mom's gonna have like rows and rows of dahlias. Here. I think it's just gonna be three rows, maybe two, is the intent. Oh, we'll I was out. assuming like they'd be like rows like this, but I guess it'll be rows like this. All right. How are yeah. the baby goats doing? All the baby goats are doing really good. Where is our um, new one? Stormy. <coughs> baby goaty. <coughs> probably stop. Ducey did get an abscess. Uh, it's oh, yeah, curing up fine, it. but we had to have the vet out. Baby goaty. <coughs> Stormy. Oh here. yeah, boing boing boing. If we don't have baby cows, we at least have to have baby goats. I know that cow won't have the baby. Mommy! Mm -hmm. No, you have to come here. You have to come here. You have to come here. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Oh wow, that's the only way they get her out here. Yeah, she's not that heavy. So tell her about her. Or this is Stormy. Where's she from? She is from Puyallup. Willoughby Croft Farms. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. I knew the town, I just didn't know the farm. But she's... What do you like about her? I like that she's white. We Baby G isn't like a white, Baby G's like a... 
silver almost where she's actually white and she's and she looks stormy and she's really cute yeah the reason she's named stormy is she was born during that uh i think it was a february or march snowstorm we had um, whoa that was a good jump back there Excellent. Okay, chapter one. Do you got any more tricks for us, Hershey? That's tipsy. And Mama said it's tipsy. I've been calling her Hershey this whole time. Mama said it's tipsy. Well, everywhere else she's been Hershey, Hershey so she's gonna be Hershey for this video. Okay. And right, chapter one will go and wedge herself in the slide. Yep. Yeah. And she's like, I'm queen of the slide. <laughs> Hi, Boot. So the best thing about these videos is Tara will watch it with me later, and we will have a discussion. Is it Tipsy? Is it Hershey? We will let you know what is decided. I will probably lose this one. Kennedy, you haven't said anything yet. Hi, I made a seesaw. You did make a seesaw. Out of wood. Yep. And I'm breathing, and I want to go back up to the hill. Yep, there's our friendly neighborhood goat cat. Goat cat. All right, we're going to head up. Yep. Any final thoughts, Kens? Oh man, look at this. Oh my God, hungry, Why do they always go in three at a time? There's. Well, they, because like they have to. They have to go in fast and shove everybody else off, otherwise, they don't get milk. And Juicy only allows them to nurse. But they swarm, right? They don't go in one at a time, they always go all three. I know. They like, Juicy only lets them nurse for like 10 seconds every 20 minutes. It is what it is. Come on, give me a jump. Boing. 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 All right. <laughs> Look at the goats. They're crushing the bamboo for us. Hi, ducks. Three ducks. How are you guys? Get rid of that bamboo. I'm a fan. All right. One final story as the goats are munching here uh, from this morning is when we were going to do chores, or at least when I was, because I was kind of doing them alone, Kerrigan had a sleepover, our friend Mac was not where he was supposed to be. Usually when I feed them a little bit, uh, he comes running along with Gus and Chubbs or Pig, and he was nowhere to be seen. And as I looked, well, I kind of saw him in the background, and here we go, walking up to him, and we can very quickly see that he is stuck. He got the wire wrapped around his leg. That's not cool. Um, but turns out he did not injure himself. We checked him out a little bit afterwards and as you can see, he's walking just fine. I didn't see any cuts or abrasions on him. He was in pretty good shape. <sighs> Look at that. Don't eat my glove. Eating my shirt, naughty goats. All right, stick to the bamboo guys. You don't need to eat my shirt. Going for the ducks. He found the ducks. I've never seen a cat chase ducks before. It's funny when he tries to chase goats. Hey guys, sorry about that. Mean kitty cat. Yeah, I got him chasing him. See, three ducks. There's a bald eagle attack the other day. That's why we we're talking about the number of ducks. Cat. Boots. He's like, he's like, I didn't do that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And like a brief sky. Hit the bell for notifications and for Grandma Gary, leave a comment.